Something Good, written by Marcy Campbell, illustrated by Karina Lichen. The day the custodian found the bad something on the bathroom wall, all the girls from Mr. Gilbert's class were called into the principal's office. The principal asked if we had any information. Some girls said, no, Mrs. Martinez. Some girls stared down at the carpet. Mrs. Martinez took her time looking at each of us. She seemed very serious and very sad. She said quietly but firmly, this kind of thing won't be tolerated at our school. We all started fidgeting. We wanted to know what is the bad something? Who did it? And what will happen next? The principal said no one was allowed to use that bathroom. But after lunch, Kyoko made a run for it, and me and Tanisha and Emmy were right behind her. We giggled our way in and shut the door, then shushed each other, shh, as we looked around and over and on and under until we saw it. The bad something. My mouth popped open. Tanisha turned around and ran out. Kyoko kicked a stall really hard, and the sound made us cover our ears. Emmy started to cry. The next day, the bathroom door was locked. The girls had to go all the way up to the second floor. Why do the boys have it easy, us girls thought. How does the principal even know it was a girl who did it? A boy could have snuck in. We all watched our classmates. We studied their faces to see if anyone looked guilty. We tried to remember who had gone to the bathroom and when, but most of all, we wanted to know who had done it and why. The bad something had made us feel horrible, all of us, because by then each of us had told someone what it was until everyone knew. Even our parents knew because the principal had called each house. Our parents whispered while they drank their coffee. But when we came into the room, they went quiet. Some of them hugged us at morning drop off for way too long. We missed the days before the bad something appeared because everything was different now. Some of us felt worried or confused or sad or angry. No one felt nothing. We were meaner than we used to be. Like when Devin went to sharpen his pencil and tripped, and we laughed. Mrs. Martinez called the whole school to the gym to talk about something important, she said. Her voice crackled into the microphone as she told us that we were all special, that our school was special, and that she knew more than anything else in the world that we were kind, even if we forgot sometimes. She told us the bad something had no place here. Then our teachers gave us all pins made from ribbons in our school colors to remember who we are, the principal said. We held our heads a little bit higher when we walked back to our classrooms. Mr. Gilbert sat in a circle with us his eyes were shiny when he said he had a big project, an art project, and we could all participate. When the boys came into the girls' bathroom, we snickered. But Mr. Gilbert said it was okay, because we were all in this together. We painted and painted straight through recess all over that bathroom wall. Each of us had something to add. Mateo drew flowers, and Rosa drew dragons, and Kai drew both, plus rainbows and dogs and lots of smiling people. We drew our whole class, and then we kept going. We drew our whole school. The principal liked it so much, she let us keep working on it, a little bit each day, until practically the whole wall was covered. We couldn't believe 
what we'd made. But then we remembered. We asked Mr. Gilbert if the bad something was still there, and he said yes, that somewhere deep underneath, it was still there. But we had changed it. We changed it when we covered that wall with our good somethings. We studied our work and wrote poems about what we saw there. We wrote about how our painting had more green than gray, more sun than clouds. Then we wrote about the world outside the painting. We wrote about how there was more good than bad, more love than hate. We are nicer than we used to be. Devin reads his poem now, the very first time he's read out loud in class. Some kids smile and nod. Some kids lean way forward so they won't miss a thing. Some kids close their eyes and let his words wash over them. We take our time to look at one another. We all see something. Something good. The end. <laughs>